Hey y'all, I'm back again. Um, so it looks like I think this is a video every day this week then. Um, so, I'm a little bit more alive today. I got uh, some sleep last night. Not um, not a full night. So I was hoping to get more, but I wanted to go to bed earlier, like at 8, but it was like 10, 10.30 before I got in bed, so it wasn't really early at all. And, uh, well, not considering I'd been up since Friday at 5 a.m. pretty much. I pretty much, I don't think I got even an hour of sleep, so... Um, I didn't feel like I was deprived of that much sleep, but, um, I was definitely acting goofy yesterday, and my, my parents were wondering what was wrong with me, because I was just acting all whacked up, but that's what happens when I don't sleep. I get really hyper, and I get weird. Anyways, um, I don't think I have too much rage today, but I ended up waking up about six and not being able to fall back asleep, so I only probably got about six, seven hours, but... I do feel more rested. Um, I'll try to go to bed early tonight, but we know this is probably not going to happen. Oh, my nose is all stuffy today. Um, so I got up, um, something a little late for a Sunday. Usually I would, I ended up laying in bed till like 8.30, almost 9. I dozed off a little bit, but not really. Um, so I got up a little late compared to what I usually would on a Sunday, but I usually try to get up at between 7.30 and 8.30 on Sundays, but I got up around 9.30 today, or er, nine yeah maybe I think it was around nine nine anyways it's ten now so I've had a shower um I got my lunch made and um I got some kind of deep pretty decent tomatoes this week the tomatoes have been bad for a couple weeks but you know since about November they've been they've been almost I haven't actually been using them they've been going bad like two days after I cut into one so um I've kind of I was giving up on those for last week. I just was using lettuce on my wraps instead of lettuce and tomato. <coughs> um, so um, if anyone knows uh, proper storage for tomatoes, um, my mom was saying to me the other day she doesn't think you're supposed to put them in the fridge because I don't know. But usually I will when I buy them. I very rarely get them that they're not ripe. Like they're already turning red. You know, right now this time of year it's just the best I can do. They're not local, so. Um, if anyone knows a proper, like, a better idea, right now, I'm, once I cut them, I stick them in the fridge, and I stick them in a sealed container, um, but then sometimes I'll open it, and it looks like it's ripened, like, a week overnight, like, they're so red, and then they get all ju or gooey, and the seeds start sliming out, you know what I mean, they just get really nasty, where you can taste that they're too ripe, so, then I end up having to throw out a whole tomato, and I don't like to waste this food, but the veggies just go bad on me really quick and this time of year is garbage sorry um so yeah if anyone knows if I'm supposed to leave those out but I think once I cut them I shouldn't just leave them out like so or if someone knows a better thing to wrap them in I just put them in with the crisper but maybe it's too cold in the fridge I'm not sure but if anyone knows that they go really deep red on me like quick after I cut them which is probably just normal because when I'm getting them right now, they're already so ripe, so in the summer I'm getting them, they're like, sometimes they're still green, so, um, just randomly off the top of my head, I was thinking here, maybe this year I should try to grow some tomatoes again, because one year me and my mom did, but we planned them a couple weeks too late, uh, so they were a little late, but, uh, we had a ton of them, but I don't think they, I think some ripened up, but they was, were too premature, so, um, maybe this year we'll dabble in that again now that I'm gonna have some more free time a bit and I uh y'all know I planted a I planted my own tree last year. I just went out in the forest and grabbed a it was about a two foot foot and a half, two foot tree. Just pulled out of the ground by the roots and uh planted it and fed it with stuff and so hopefully we'll have a tree growing back there. I'm not sure what kind but I don't know, I've always kind of like had a bit of a green thumb for stuff like that and I really like trees and stuff and I really don't think there's enough of them and the more we have is going to be the more benefit for us so plant a tree and it costed me nothing it I just went well it costed me I went and bought some uh, some soil I forget what kind I got but I got some peat soil or something and I bought some food drops it was like under twenty dollars to plant a tree so and the tree was free so yeah, it's way cheaper than going and spending five hundred dollars for a tree. But now with this tree's so tiny, it's hard to say whether it's gonna make it through the winter. I'm not, I'm not sure. So we'll see. It was just kind of a fun thing to do. But uh, maybe yeah, we'll I'll find an area in the backyard and maybe try to do a uh, one or two tomato plants. 
uh, depending on how much they yield. I'm not sure how much they will get out of them. So I'm sure, I think we got at least 10 tomatoes off our one plant. So but they were just they were just a little too small and just way too green. They were never going to ripen. They were just garbage. So um, yeah, maybe we'll try that this summer. But tomatoes are, you know, veggies are relatively cheap. So they go through all the work too plant a garden and stuff and the maintenance and keeping bugs off of it and watering and fertilizing and proper soil and all that and pH levels and all that stuff it's like cheaper to go to the store and just spend a dollar ninety nine on a tomato or whatever they were tomatoes usually are a little bit a little bit more than some other veggies but they're reasonable I just think for what you're getting like if you think of how much one single apple costs you tomatoes are a little expensive um but not really but anyways, like I said, if anyone knows any better ways that I can use for tomato storage or if you spray something on them or, you know, anything, let me know that. Um, I just booed up my Netflix because I was asking a uh, bug lady what she was watching on Netflix and she said she was watching, uh, she said she was watching Weeds and, uh, a couple other shows. I have watched Weeds on here. I tried to. I didn't, I just can't get into it. I know what it's about. Um, I've heard what it's about and, like, what it's, uh, moral is, but... I just, when I start watching them, it's like, oh, this is grueling, I can't get through it. I'm only on episode two, and I just, I can't, so I'm sure it probably gets better, but I just have other stuff I want to watch right now, but I'm watching uh, King of the Hill because it's a really good show I used to watch when I was a kid. Um, it started in 1997, according to this, um, and there's like 260 episodes, so I've been through that. I'm only on like season four of 13. Um... I watched this Hollywood Treasure show. Um, I'm not sure if anyone knows that one, but it's just one season. But it's just like a another auction type show. But they only go for things that are like famous from movies and movie props and stuff like that. Uh, the Trailer Park Boys, of course, it's like my favorites. Weeds is right there. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff on here that I've watched once and it's never really cared for. Like the South Park stuff sucks. Um, some cop comedian type stand up comedy stuff. I have that strange addiction show. Um there's a couple other shows, mostly reality I like to watch. Um a couple auction shows, the extreme couponer show. Um stuff like that. I watch this uh, one show called Life with Murder. Um well the ratings are pretty low on that, I don't know why, but I thought it was a really good movie. Um it's a uh documentary it's uh, actually, there, I'll move it over to one more and you'll see it on the very end, right there. Um, it happened actually about an hour from here um, that the son uh, killed his daughter, or his, not his daughter, his sister, and uh, it just goes through all that stuff of um, the trial and all that and what actually he said happened and what actually happened and his parents go and visit him in uh, prison and all that so there's just like talking about that how they can you know live with their son after he killed their daughter and just what it did to the family and just you know all that stuff so it was kind of interesting um it was a little long but it was kind of interesting so if you want to look up that I kind of found that crazy that that was on the American Netflix and it's from like a, an hour away from here so that was kind of cool yeah, other than that, it's mostly the same kind of stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot of reality on Netflix, uh, like anything. Um, so today uh, is not not going to be too much going on. I don't plan on even going anywhere. We did get a light snow. Um, it looks nice. It's nice and fresh snow, and it's kind of, uh, you know, the, the sky is pretty clear. I can see a bit of blue, and the sun's kind of peeking around, and it's very windy. I ain't going to leave today. Um, I went on my scooter yesterday, and uh, it was the dumbest thing I think I've done in a long time. It was so windy, the bike was struggling to move, <laughs> my fingers were numb with gloves on, so, yeah, it was not a happy camper when I got home. So I'm like, okay, yeah, the scooter's getting parked, because I'm not going to use it in this crap. So, yeah. Um, but I'll show you outside before I go. Um, I got my, uh, I found this $20 gift card on my table over there that my uncle got me for the grocery store. Um, I've been going to this different a different grocery store that doesn't offer that doesn't accept these. So I haven't been using them. Uh, they have their own point points card there that I use, but it's very low. It doesn't it doesn't add up to crap and I don't spend a lot of money on food anymore. I basically just buy what I need for my lunch necessity type stuff that 
I don't get here is to uh, the food doesn't go down so quick here. I usually buy my own lunch stuff and stuff like that. So um, I have this twenty dollar one. I have another one that I got from work for Christmas. For, uh, there's ten dollars left on that one, so I have about thirty five dollars in gift cards. And I have um, I have at least sixty dollars worth of free groceries on my points card for that same store. So I have about like almost a hundred dollars worth of free groceries. So I'll have to start uh, cashing on those soon. I'll just see if when they expire. But it'd be nice for to save those when I move, that I can have like free food for a while. But I don't know. That's probably not going to be for a little quite a while. I'm I'm just uh, kind of backtracking now, and. Uh, I'm going to focus on school, paying off stuff, and uh, just a little bit more prioritizing than to, you know, I don't want to be putting more stress on myself, because if I move I'm going to be stressed out with bills and just worrying about this and that, and just have so much more responsibility than I just, I have all my life to get, so <laughs> I'm going to stick around here for a while, sorry, keep clearing my nose, it sounds so gross on the camera. Um, my breeze candles sucked. It didn't last worth shit. It was only up to here to start, and it only lasted about a week. So, I'm not getting those again. That was just too much money for what I got. Um, my mom's gonna go to Walmart today. She went yesterday, but they forgot she was gonna pick me up a uh, one of the big three scented candles, like three levels of scents. Uh, candle for ten bucks from Walmart and. They're really good. Um, I know the States has them because uh, Stacy bought me one for my birthday two years ago. And uh, I've been buying those ones ever since. I've gone through like ten. Um, I have a couple empty ones around the room that I use for end stop bookend stops or whatever you call them. Um, I just fill, I filled one with water. I want to test it out. Hopefully the water doesn't go all rancid in there. I doubt it will if I don't open it. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't plan on it. Um, it reminds me one time I had this, uh, I had this water, uh, a jar of water and vinegar that I had full of rocks from the beach, and yeah, about a couple years after I got that, it fell off a shelf, and oh my god, it was like a stink bomb went off in here, it was, it was bad, glass, water, stones, frickin' everywhere, stone, or, uh, sand, it was bad. <laughs> So yeah, I haven't uh, done that in like 10 years, but I do remember that, and my mom is not happy about that one. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, babbling off here. Um, I didn't get into any studying yesterday. I don't know that I will today. I just want to have a very clear day. I was so out of it yesterday that I woke up today. I'm like, holy crap, it's Sunday. Where's my weekend? So yeah, no more getting waste on Fridays for a bit. I'm sick of waking up Saturday so like out of it and just lazy and get nothing done. Third week in a row I didn't get that closet cleaned out. I want to take all my moving stuff and put it downstairs in the basement in our uh, storage thing down there and uh, didn't get to that again. I need to get to that and I'm, but, but I know I know once I get into that it's going to be a big thing because i got to move all that out downstairs and I've got to rearrange my closet. I have to do open my, all my dresser drawers, hang up all my clothes. I want to start using my closet again for clothes because it's just... The dresser is packed. I can never find anything. I'm just living out of wash baskets for the past, like, a year or so. And I'll go over there. I'll spend an hour cleaning everything out, throw a shitload of clothes out. Next week, I'm back to out of a laundry basket again because it's just... I'm too lazy to... I'm not that. It's just I get open it and I'm sick of looking through every drawer trying to find what I want to wear. So I just throw it in a basket and I could ri rifle through the basket looking for what I want. Anyways, my videos are out of control long lately and uh, I'm going to try to keep them under 10 minutes like I said, but it just hasn't been happening lately. But we'll stop now before we're too, too much over that. Um, definitely under 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to drink my tea here. I need to go down and make something for breakfast. At some point, I might wait till noon. I might just go have a, a banana. I have some bananas over there that are getting close to being ready. I think they'll be okay to eat today. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, a couple hours, I'll go down and uh, find something for lunch. But yeah, I'm going to just be vegging out, watching stuff. And uh, I didn't get any of my Sims played this weekend, so I might play a bit of Sims. 
I tried to play last night, but I got f I was so tired I just went to bed. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Uh, hope you had a good weekend, and I'll probably be back tomorrow. Oh, my screensaver just went off. Okay, there we go. Bye.